Hello guys, welcome back. Welcome to a guide on the bosses in Paper Mario the Origami King. Fighting bosses in this game was my favorite thing to do, and I hope you guys enjoy this guide. I will be breaking down this guide into sections with timestamps below. The sections will be broken down into general bossing tips, developmental battles, and thing bosses. Alright, let's hop right in. Bosses in this game always have a certain weakness to them. Once you find their weak points, you must exploit it. Every single boss may have a desperation move that does a lot of damage. Many times you are able to block these desperation moves by using the correct developmental. To activate the developmental tiles, you must step over this on tile. During boss battles, you will find these blue and red tiles. The blue tiles give Mario an additional action command, and the red ones grant him 2 times the damage. If you are able to combine the damage plus action command tiles, you can deal a ton of damage in one turn. Furthermore, you can also activate the on tile and the developmental tiles in one turn. If you are unable to locate any special tiles, there is a good chance that it is inside the treasure chest. For the most part, we want to avoid using any items because they are inferior to attacking compared to using weapons. Do not be afraid to stop and heal once in a while. Ok enough of that, let's start the guide. The Earth Velumental is the first boss that we have on our list. The Earth Velumental isn't the most difficult boss, but there are certain ways to approach it. First off, the Earth Velumental can only be hit by a hammer. Using boots will do no damage to it. The Earth Velumental can only be struck at its soft spots. After it is struck, the body part will retreat back into its shell. This prevents Mario from striking there twice. You must strike the head to prevent it from using its sandblast attack. The weakest area in the Earth Velumental is the tail. I highly recommend striking there in conjunction with the red tile. This will deal massive damage to the boss. Make sure to open the treasure chest to reveal the red tile. Once it is around half HP, you can finish it off with the 1000 fold technique. The Water Velomental is the next boss on our list. This boss contains the first encounter with stage hazards. In this particular instance, the water spots will clear any tiles in a straight line. The player must maneuver around these hazards and find openings. The Water of Elemental must be brought down with a jump attack. This will bring down the dragon to the ground. This is the opportunity that Mario needs to use his hammer to deal massive damage. Make sure on the first turn, you activate the blue tile to jump and hammer on the same turn. Do not use the 1000 handfolds technique. There is no point to using it right now because it will deal no damage to the dragon. We will find an opening later. The dragon will continue to get bigger and bigger as the round progresses. He will then charge up his desperation move. During this instance, the player must activate the Earth Velemental. This will protect the player from the desperation attack. The boss will now get tired and this is the perfect opportunity for the player to strike with the 1000 handfolds technique. Repeat this process until the Water Velemental is slain. The Fire Velemental is a phoenix origami that produces hazardous fire feathers around the ring. Mario will take damage if he walks across these areas. Avoid running into too many feathers or Mario will take a lot of damage. While the Fire Velemental has fire on it, Mario will not be able to jump on it or use the 1000 folds technique. His hammer will also miss since the bird is flying. He can use a hammer throw but it will deal very little damage. The player must find a way to get around the boss's fire. We want to start off the fight by activating the on tile and opening the chest to reveal the water of elemental tile. On the next turn, the water tile should be activated. This will leave the fire of elemental vulnerable to jump attacks. As always, if you can combine it with any buffing tiles, then feel free to do so. Jump attacks are the way to go here because they will deal more damage. Do not use the 1000 folds attack. This will cause the fire of elemental to reabsorb all of its feathers and heal all the way back to full. Only use the 1000 folds technique when it is extremely low on HP to finish it off. Repeat the process of watering down the boss and you should have no problems in defeating it. The Ice Velemental is the final Velemental on our list. The Ice Velemental starts off by encasing itself in an ice block. Do not even try to attack this, because your attacks will bounce right off. Additionally, it will also have ice stage hazards that we must avoid. This will freeze Mario if he does not dodge them. We first must melt the ice by activating the Fire Velemental tile. Once the ice is melted, we can now strike with the 1000 fold technique. This will deal an insane amount of damage. The boss will now start freezing certain tiles under ice. To counter this, we can shift the tiles around to break the ice. This will cost one move but will be worth it if we can find the perfect lineup. Melt the ice once more and use the 1000 folds technique. He will now almost be defeated but will activate his ice maze move. This move will create an ice maze and also shift the ring around randomly. The player must find the right path that was indicated at the start of the move. If you get lost, make sure to keep track of the certain tiles that appeared. For example, I used this heart tile to lead me to the right path to defeat the ice elemental. The first regular boss we have on our list are the Colored Pencils. They attack the player with a barrage of missiles. They will also have stage hazards that will attack Mario if he crosses it. Dodge these as usual. 
Do not attempt to jump on the colored pencils because they will do minimal damage. Do not use the 1000 folds attack because this will do nothing. The best way to approach this boss is with a hammer from the back. This will close the lid, causing the pencils to explode. This will also stun the boss and leave it wide open. While the boss is stunned, we can now attack it with the jump from the front. Make sure to utilize the blue tile for extra damage. The jump attacks will do massive damage. Once the boss is about halfway, he will start using his desperation attack. To counter this attack, the player should use the 1000 folds attack to finish off the boss. The next boss on our list is the rubber band man. This boss creates rubber band hazards that boost Mario in the direction the arrow is facing. Something to note about this mechanic is that the arrow only moves Mario up a tile. It will still keep the direction he goes from the previous level. The boss will lose HP as he gets rid of more rubber bands on his body. He will then absorb it all back at the end of the turn. If you attack him with regular attacks, the rubber bands will fall back on stage and he will reabsorb them. To get around this, we must attack him with the 1000 folds technique. The rubber band man will have an attack that if you do not block, the rubber bands will wrap around Mario and deal a decent amount of damage. Keep hammering him with the 1000 fold attacks until he drops to about 1 HP. During this time, he will initiate an extremely strong move, doing about half of Mario's HP. Because of this, make sure to stay above 50% or higher of Mario's HP pool. Now for the final phase, initiate the 1000 folds attack once more. During this time, the rubber band will dodge around Mario's hands. He will damage Mario if you miss grabbing him. Look for an opening when he stops moving and finish him off. The next boss on our list is the Hole Puncher. The Hole Puncher will start off by punching holes in the tiles which will nullify them. Avoid falling into the holes and you should be okay. The boss's main gimmick is punching a hole in Mario's head which reduces his HP by half. The boss will follow up with an attack right after, so make sure to block this move. Start off by opening up the chest to reveal the red and blue tiles. Make sure to attack the Hole Puncher directly in the middle with the hammer. Jumps will not deal a great amount of damage to it. On the next turn, make sure to try to line up a blue and red tile with an attack from the back. This will deal an insane amount of damage to the boss. Throughout the boss fight, the boss will reveal Mario's face around the ring. If Mario picks this up, then his HP will return back to normal. The boss will start using its desperation attack around half of its HP pool. Activate the Earth Velemental to counter this move. This will stun the boss and leave him wide open for an attack. During this time, I recommend skipping the 1000 handfold attack and opt to attack it with a hammer. If you are able to combine this with the red and blue tile, then it will deal massive damage to the boss. You still have the option of using the 1000 hands attack if you are unable to line this attack up. Next up, we got Tape as our boss. This boss has a basic slam move that is easy to block. The tape is encased in a purple casing that Mario must destroy. The tape can only be affected by hammers. Do not attempt to use the 1000 folds attack or the jumps because they will be ineffective. The boss has a hidden weakness to hammer throw attacks, so make sure to equip the best one available. The best area to attack the tape boss is to strike it in the middle to deal the most amount of damage. If you hit the sides, it will deal less damage to it. Try to combine the hammer throw with the red tile for an insane amount of damage. Once we finish the first phase, the tape will be released from its case. During this phase, the boss tapes the rings together as a stage hazard. This will make it difficult to maneuver around the rings as the rounds go by. We can use the fire of elemental to clear the hazard. The boss will use a drill attack on top of Mario that will deal a massive amount of damage, so make sure to block it. Do not attempt to jump on the boss because it will fail. The main way of dealing damage during this phase is to use the 1000 folds attack. Repeat this process a few times to finish out the boss. The next boss on our list are the Sumo Bros. The battle will start off with the brothers stealing the tiles from Mario. What Mario should look to do is to find an opening towards the enemy holding the on tile. Use the iron boots to deal massive damage to it. On the next turn, Mario should look to activate the Earth Elemental tile. This will destroy all the enemies below as well as avoid any incoming damage. In the next phase, all the enemies will lower to the ground and will pick up additional tiles. During this phase, Mario should be looking to destroy the enemy with the Fire Velumental tile. The enemies will unleash a desperation attack that will deal a decent amount of damage. As long as you are above 50% of your HP, you should be okay. Now finish off the battle by activating the Fire Velumental ability. The next boss on our list is the Handaconda. This boss will start off by stealing Olivia away from Mario. We must free her by attacking it. This boss does not have too many threatening moves, but make sure to just block it. To effectively attack this boss, we must hit it with the tip of our hammer's attack range. If we are too close, the attack will be ineffective. During this time, we should look to utilize the red tiles to increase our damage per attack. Do not jump because it will not work and avoid hitting the Velomental tiles. Around half HP, the boss will free Olivia and start a game of rock paper scissors. Look at the boss's hand to aid in the decision making. 
If Mario wins a round, then he will deal massive damage to it. If he loses, then make sure to block the enemy's attack. Repeat the game until you defeat the boss. The next boss on our list are the Scissors. The Scissor is a deadly boss that has the capability to one-shot Mario if he is not careful. The boss will start off the battle by encasing itself in a cover. Avoid using the 1000 folds attack because this will break the casing. Additionally, Mario should not attack the casing with his normal moves because this will also break it. The player should utilize the red and blue tiles to their full potential during this time. While the scissors has its case on, it will use a drill move that shouldn't be too threatening. Around the half HP mark, the boss will take out its casing and prepare a desperation move. This move will one-shot Mario if he does not dodge it. You must dodge the move at least once so make sure you are ready for it. Additionally, during this phase, Mario cannot jump on the scissors. This will also destroy Mario. We can only attack it with a hammer. During this phase, the player should look to activate the chest to reveal the Ice Villamental tile. Activate it as quickly as possible. The next turn, Mario should activate the 1000 folds attack and destroy the boss with it. The final thing boss is the stapler. We should look to utilize the 1000 folds attack as early as possible. The reason for this is because the stapler has staples in it that will do devastating damage to Mario. The 1000 folds attack gets rid of a lot of staples. During the beginning phases, Mario will do no damage with his jump attack, so look to use his hammer. The stapler has a 2 hit attack that if Mario does not block, it will pin him down. The stapler will follow up with another attack. Try your best to block this move. As the battle rages on, the stapler will activate its desperation move. The move has the potential to one-shot Mario if he does not get rid of some staples in the stapler's mouth. Make sure to block the attacks to negate as much damage as possible. After the desperation move, the stapler will have its mouth wide open for an attack. During this time, Mario can jump on it to deal massive damage. Try to utilize the red and blue tiles during this time to deal maximum damage. Make sure to use the 1000 fold attack at least once before the desperation move, otherwise the stapler will one-shot Mario. This will happen while the stapler has red staples in it. Repeat this process until the stapler is defeated. The final boss of the game is King Ollie. King Ollie can utilize the power of the Velamentals just like Olivia can. Ollie will start off the battle using the Earth Velamentals power. To counter this, Mario must activate the Ice Velamentals power to freeze it. This will then leave it wide open for a 1000 fold attack. The next phase, King Ollie will turn into the Fire Velamental. The stage will be littered with fire hazards, so be careful. Going forward, Ollie will start regenerating his health slowly. Try to act as quickly as possible to prevent this from happening. Look for a way to activate the Water Velamental. While King Ollie is down, look to attack him with the 1000 folds attack. The next phase, King Ollie will transform into the Ice Velamental. He will then activate the Ice Maze. You must once again find the opening to the Fire Velamental. If you are low on HP, try to pick up some HP hearts along the way. Make sure to look for tiles that can serve as markers to help you find the way. After unfreezing him, you must traverse through the ice maze once more. Use the 1000 folds attack and finish him off. Ollie will then transform into the water elemental. Ollie will charge up the water elemental's desperation move, but this can be countered by the earth elemental's power. After this phase, use the 1000 folds attack to defeat him. The next phase of this battle is aiding Bowser in his origami form. We can aid him by using the 1000 folds attack behind him. This part shouldn't be too difficult as long as we can maneuver around the stage hazards. The final stage of this battle, Mario must fix the ring to perform the final attack. The way to solve the problem will be shown in the clip right here. You will not get punished too hard if you lose because you will just have to replay this particular section again.
congratulations on completing the game. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys liked it, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe.